I'm Martin Dom. I'm a tennis trainer at IMG Academy. My dad is Martin Dom Sr. and he's a former tennis player, top 15 singles and a Grand Slam champion in doubles. Martin Dom. I was about two when I first picked up my first racket. It was really his racket. I was hitting against the, the door of the, in the house, um, and it really started there. Then we started following my dad at tournaments, and uh, you know, just hitting on the courts whenever we had free time. I mean, it was kind of a dream come true for us, you know, especially at the Grand Slams. I remember Wimbledon the most. Whenever you know he had a break or or whenever he was done, we'd go on there for like 15 minutes, and we try to imitate the pros and, and seeing them also in the locker room and walking around. That was something we always dreamed about, you know, being uh, being around them. You know, Nadal, Federer, Murray. Uh, everyone that we dream about meeting, uh, so we got to meet them and then obviously watching my dad. But uh, yeah, I mean just being in that environment, you know, packed tennis courts and like I said, you know, seeing all the pros uh, hanging around, around us. My favorite tennis player would have to be Nadal. I love watching him play and just the way he, you know, acts on the court and the way he trains is, is I think, something that every tennis player would want to, you know, achieve in life and also they admire him the way he trains and acts. So at the US Open when we played in the men's doubles last year, our locker room was right next to him uh, with my doubles partner Toby Kodak, who had trained here as well. And so it's, we were kind of in awe, you know, watching him, even though he was coming from practice and changing most of the time. But, you know, just seeing his presence, and obviously he's, he's arguably one of the best tennis players out there. So um, that was kind of a dream come true as, as well for us. Even though my dad was a, a professional tennis player and pretty successful, I feel no pressure for him or for my family at all. Um, you know, it's kind of me starting my own legacy now and, and starting from scratch. Uh, and he's there just to help me and, and lead me with his through his uh, experiences and, and just to help me, you know, achieve my goals. And if there is some help that I need, then he's obviously going to help me. But uh, I, I feel no pressure from him at all. Hey, bro, how are you doing? I'm doing good. How are you? Good, man. How have your days been so far? It's been pretty tough. Started off in the morning in the gym with Derek doing fitness, and then we headed over to the tennis courts and we did a two-hour session of tennis. Well, my dad had a great serve. Uh, he was very good at the net, so that's something that I'm trying to transition to, you know, start going more to the net. Yeah, it, it was fun, you know, all the kids, you know, whenever they could, uh, you know, just start walking, basically, they, they had their, you know, rackets in their hand. He's a little bit different type of player than, than I was, obviously. He's much taller and, you know, he's lefty, so it's, it's you know, he's got more power, and uh, I think that he, always you know should be a very aggressive player coming a lot to the net so trying to work on the net game a little more you know just attacking the ball trying to uh, keep the rally shorter but uh, it's just a different type of player so I like to admire his game a lot uh, mainly I saw him play doubles so uh, a lot of the volleys the serves are in volley just playing an aggressive game uh, I think his backhand was much better than his forehand. I think he can agree on that. His forehand was a little bit on the below average side. What do you mean? He can, he can talk more My about it. That was great. I think I got him on the forehand for sure, even right now at a young age. What I take away from my dad in the tennis world and, and in the normal world is that he was always a fair player and he did it out of passion. Um, that's something that I do. You know, I love to play the sport. I think it's a beautiful game and, and it's something that I want to carry on, to carry on his legacy um, in the tennis world and in, and in life as well. My legacy is that I want to show the other kids here on campus that anything is possible, they can achieve anything they want. And obviously I've experienced some pretty good moments in tennis, so I want to show them that anything is possible and they can, they can achieve that as well.